Jose from ultimatemuseguides.com and in this tutorial we're going to show you guys how to create a really cool scrolling um, horizontal scrolling logo slider if you, if you want to call it that um, and just to give you a look at um, you know how it looks in the browser let's go ahead and preview this in um, preview this page in browser through Muse it's just really simple got some got a little shadow graphic on the sides and then basic arrow and as you can see you know you can press back and forth and it'll scroll it'll scroll horizontally the uh, sections that have those different logos um, so I'm gonna show you how to do that so let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna show you uh, I'm gonna take some of these graphics so I don't have to uh, look for them in my uh, files my computer I'm going to take some of these out real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to delete this and uh, we'll go ahead and start from scratch. So I got all the graphics that I want to use and um, all you have to do is go into your object panel insert widget and choose the blank composition widget go ahead and drop that on your canvas go ahead and, and stretch out the uh, container to the height and width that you want if you want it this way and then go ahead and grab the triggers you can select them all by hitting shift and then clicking on, the, on each and each one and then drag them right below the container then go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and um, click the middle where it's, there's a circle and um, shrink down those all three of them at the same time then I'm gonna go ahead and click the widget itself and right click it and I'm going to clear all the styling so we can so there's no default styling whatsoever no background color nothing because um the triggers we don't want anything we don't want any colors or any styling on the triggers we just want those to be invisible and stay as small as possible because we don't need to use those um, in Muse you'll be able to use them you'll be able to like add more sections you know so for each trigger there's a uh, another container so but we only need two because I only have two uh, sets of logos, you know, four four logos in each section. So we had we got we went ahead and set it up. What we're gonna do is um, we're gonna go into the options and we're gonna click on preview and next because we want those buttons to control which section we're looking at. We're gonna go ahead and put them on the side of the container. We'll go ahead and line it up. Let's go ahead and delete those default icons in there, which is really just some text. And um, we'll start moving some of the graphics in. We'll go ahead and put the shadow not on top of the container, but right next to it so it doesn't get placed inside the container. Okay, you can do anything you want with this slider. You don't have to style it that way. You can style it any way you want. But it's just a way to do it. Uh, it's just a way that I want to do it. Okay, let's just move over those preview next buttons over just a slight bit away from the container. Okay, great. And um, just for the heck of it, we're going to go ahead and make sure that they're on top. Okay, great. That's set up. And we'll go ahead and click our, we'll go ahead and drag over our arrow buttons for the appropriate sides. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and, for the first section, we'll go ahead and place some of those logos in there. Nice and neat. Okay. We'll go ahead and click on over to the next section. Do the same thing with the other logos. Okay, and there we go. The last thing we're going to do is go into the options panel one more time and click on the transition effect to horizontal. And uh, we're going to hit autoplay so that I can con constantly be shuffling from one section to the other. 
uh, for um, if you want to put this on a mobile layout and you want it to be able you know want it to uh, you want your viewer to be able to just kind of roll their thumb over the screen and swipe from one section to the other and you want to go ahead and add that shuffle option not not shuffle sorry the enable swipe option the shuffle will just keep going back and forth between sections we only have two so it's not really going to look like it's shuffling um, the triggers on top you don't have to worry about that because they're right below the container so that's not important right now and you're not going to click hide all initially because you want this to appear at all times uh, for the transition speed just to make it a nice little slow transition uh, I recommend putting it up to maybe like two seconds and there we go so if we preview this page in browser again you'll see that um, you know after three seconds it automatically moves to the next section gives a nice scroll effect and it keeps doing it so that's how you create a logo slider hope you enjoy this tutorial I have a lot more co uh, coming out and we'll see you next time take care